Early predictions expect this year's hurricane season to be busier than average. Dr. Phil Klotzbach and the Tropical Meteorology Project at Colorado State University are among the first to issue an outlook for the season. This year, they anticipate 16 named storms, eight of which becoming hurricanes, and four of those becoming major hurricanes. One of the big factors that we're looking at for this year is we do not anticipate El Nino conditions going on. An El Nino would mean warmer than normal water in the central and eastern Pacific Ocean. That tends to create more wind shear and tear apart hurricanes in the Atlantic. Because El Nino is not expected to limit development, more hurricanes may form. Another factor this year is warm water in the Atlantic Basin. Warmer than normal waters are associated with um, a more unstable atmosphere, um, also more mid-level moisture, and combined with the warmer waters, which provide more fuel for the storms, that all combined to tend to lead to more active overall hurricane seasons. Dr. Klotzbach says there are five previous hurricane seasons that compare to this year, including 2008 and 1996. When we look at these five analog seasons, four of the five years that we selected had above normal hurricane activity, while 1960 had near average overall hurricane activity levels. This hurricane forecast covers the entire Atlantic Basin from a standpoint of below or above average activity, but it doesn't guarantee you will experience a storm. Uh, regardless of the hurricane forecast, we can't say when or where storms are going to strike. So you need to be prepared the same for every hurricane season because it just takes that one hurricane making landfall near where you live to make it an active season for you. That's why it's important to get your hurricane plan and kits ready before the start of the season on June 1st. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Steve Glazier.